things any kind. It really doesn't matter at all. Short, fat, skinny, or tall. It really doesn't matter at all. Long hair, short hair, hey, no hair at all. Playing, eating, sleeping, or just catching a ball. Cause I love dogs any kind. I love dogs, uh huh. I love dogs. I love dogs. Hi, folks, and welcome to Dog Talk. I'm Pat Becker, and we have very special guests for you today. A friend of mine, Michelle Seacrest, and her husband are with us. And Michelle, I'm sure that you have seen on camera occasionally. She helps me out here with the audience, with getting my hair where it should be, and giving me good advice. Had uh, this family had an experience that was not very happy. It was a sorrowful loss of one of their families, a boy named Bailey. And today, the Seacrest family is here to present an award in his honor. So may I present Michelle and Stephen? How are you? Good. good thank doing, you. Doing pretty good. How long has it been now? It's been six weeks. Been six weeks. So. You came to me and you said, you know what, Pat, I would like to do something in my son's honor. Because at the time, uh, all of the boys, all of their, your family, were making a, a project of raising funds for a rescue. That's correct. They were to select the rescue of their choice, and they were going to go out and, and kind of solicit funds for that rescue. What an admirable thing to do. I was, of course, all for it. And then with this tragedy, you know, I didn't know whether or not we should continue. But you persevered. You're a very strong lady, and I admire you so much. I love you, love you, love you. Stephen, you're a good guy, too. Thank you. Um, so tell me today that you have decided to present this award in his behalf. I noticed that you had a plaque. What does this plaque say? Um, well, the plaque that we're presenting, it says, The Seacrease family is proud to present the Bailey Alexander Seacrease Award to the Low Rider Dotson Rescue for outstanding devotion to finding forever homes for lost, abandoned, and abused Dotsons. And then it has the year on it. So you selected the Dotson Rescue. And we happen to have our Dachshund Rescue representative with us. How are you, Trinket? I'm doing well, thank you. I have known you for years. You've always done a super job. You and your thank mom you. find these little dogs, rescue them, and, and find forever homes for them. Yes. So I felt that it was a wonderful choice. And so you are going to present this. I will hand this to her. Uh, this is for you, Trinket. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, for everything that you do. And I think Stephen has something. And this is a $1,000 check for you and for your, for your Doxy Rescue. And uh, we appreciate everything that you have done and keep us advised about what's going on. We have the family, actually, is over here. And sure enough, there they are, doing what they love to do, playing with dogs. <laughs> and these dogs, are they up for adoption? They are up for adoption. And so tell me, what the, what, what, who are they? The, uh, the, the long hair right there with the zebra jacket on, that is Sophie. Uh, we actually received her last night. She'll be ready to go in about a week. She's ah, about two years old. Precious. Um, the next one is Dixie. She came to us out of Sepulpa, and she's very active. She would be very energetic with, you know, um, a running family. Uh-huh. Very athletic, then. Very, very athletic. Dogs um, can be that. Agility, that's what I was looking for. Oh. She would do well in agility. Excellent. Um, she's about a year old. And then the tiny one over there taking a little nap is uh, Bolt. He was actually found. Uh, some people were driving by a field and thought he was a squirrel and watched him a little longer and said, oh, it's a puppy. So oh, my goodness. They pulled him and called us, and, and we took him in. And, and he's about four months old now. Wow. Four mm -hmm. months old. Mm -hmm. Well, he's actually, he's ready for adoption. He is. Then. He's already been neutered, current on vaccinations, and microchipped. Oh, that is just excellent. So, uh, 
actually the guys did have some funds that they had solicited and you had those uh, I guess Michelle um, yes we ha also have an additional $120 that the boys had raised that um, the boys had raised oh so. thank you very much uh -huh. well we applaud you for what you do we applaud you for the strength we applaud you for raising your children to be excellent excellent kids and I know them all and uh, they're huggers yes. and <laughs> they are so sweet and so good and the best thing about them is they like dogs. Yes, they do. <laughs> I understand you have a new puppy. We do. We have a 12 week old little boxer puppy. A boxer puppy <laughs> which is adorable. I know I have, I have seen. So you guys, we appreciate it so much. Mm -hmm. You take care and you let us know what's going on. We sure will. We're going to take a quick break, guys, and when we come back, we're going to talk about amenities for pet owners. Want to learn all about raising a kitty or how to socialize your dog? We're here to help. New Leash Companion Animal Center offers facilities for sporting events, no-cost pet bathing, spay, neuter, and vaccination clinics with a huge database of animal resources, including dogs trained for special needs. New Leash Companion Animal Center is the best resource for all animal-related issues. Your Animal Information Station. A1 Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Quality does not have to cost more and we have only the best. If your dog or cat suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, hair loss, or is just plain finicky, we can help. Local pet rescues with adoptable pets are on site most Saturdays from noon to four. We are locally owned and operated and want to be your neighborhood pet food store. Give your pet the best by shopping at A1 Pet Emporium, northwest corner of May and Britain. Are you watching TV using an antenna or rabbit ears? No, not these, these. If you don't have cable or satellite TV, you should rescan your TV and you'll likely receive up to 40 stations for free. So get your remote control, go to the menu key, look for setup or channels, and push scan. That's menu, setup or channels, and scan. If you need help, go to re-scanokc.com. Join the conversation on Facebook with Dog Talk after the show. Like the page and upload your pictures for a chance to appear on an episode. So, all of these folks here today are going to give us some help. Everybody needs help. Your dogs always get sick on the weekends, right? Every day that you go out there to pick up after them, it's a chore. Face it. Everybody goes through that. Sometimes if you have a member of the family that passes away and you need some place to put a dog and it's late at night, who do you call? Well, I've got the answers. These guys are going to tell us. And I'm going to start with you guys. How are you? Doing fine. Great. Good to see you. This is Al Alonza and you have the Dog on Poop service. Right. Dog on Poop. So, and this is Rick. How are you? I'm doing fine. And uh, you're Rick Guy, and you have the scooper service. Yes, ma'am. And basically what you guys do is pick up the poop. That's right. You got it. So tell me, um, <clears throat> when did you start this kind of thing? Did you, you saw a need for it? And you must have had a lot of dogs you had to do that well, for. Well, no, I, I uh, was walking a park one day that I, where I lived at and saw it everywhere, and I thought, hey, you know, let me check that out and see what's going on. And, <laughs> and I researched it and found out how to do it and the what and why, and so I did it. Uh, excellent. Excellent service. And how about you, Rick? How, how did you get into this? We got our kids a dog, a uh, golden retriever puppy for Christmas in 1998, and about two weeks later, my wife said, you know, somebody's going to have to do something with that backyard. <laughs> it usually ends up the wife, right? And I said, well, uh, yeah. And I went out there, and I was scooping it up, and... I thought, you know, this is not a lot of fun, but I bet I'm not the only person that doesn't enjoy it. And you are so right. As a matter of fact, I hired Alice Medic to come out and have his service just to see what it was like, <laughs> because I will admit I'm the pooper scooper in my family. And believe me, guys, I have eight dogs, do I not, Al? Right, Al will do. know that. <laughs> <laughs> there yes, is a lot of poop out there. Yes. And you know, there are times when I just don't feel like doing it. But then there is that uh, corpophobia thing, you know, where they you can eat it sometimes. I hate no. that. I hate that. Yeah. So picking it up is great. So tell me, both of you, what do you do with it? 
You, well, you I, take I it have, out of my yard and put it in a right, sack and dispose it's, it's, of it. It's put in, you know, we scoop it up in a bag and then uh -huh. we take that bag and put it back to the truck. It's double bagged. That, and then at the end of the day, we take those to a. Yeah. We have two dumpsters. Oh, that, that, that is wonderful so because, we pay for the you know, disposal. as far as I'm concerned, when it leaves my yard, I don't care where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of want it out of there. So this is a service that, that everybody can use, and oh, I yeah. applaud you because, uh, gosh knows. Now, how do they get in touch with you, my friends who really need this service, Hal? Well, I have a website, doggonepoop.com, and then 399-7297. All right. Well, there you go. And how about you, Rick? My website is wescoopthepoop.com, and the phone number is 341-7017. Sounds like good news to me. Hey, I'm telling you, folks, this is the service that you need. So give these guys a call, and let's get it going. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk to a, another guys, another lady, who can give us some advice about some more services. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. OSU Center for Veterinary Health Sciences means education, research, and service. The Veterinary Hospital and Disease Diagnostic Lab are here to serve you. Treating all species, the hospital offers many veterinary medical services. The Diagnostic Lab helps veterinarians identify and treat diseases. The only veterinary college in Oklahoma, OSU veterinarians are practice ready because healthy animals equal healthy people. Nestled in the mountains of northwest Arkansas, minutes from Eureka Springs, is Spider Creek Resort. Secluded on 50 acres, our cabins from studios to three bedrooms all have fully equipped kitchens and outdoor grills. Spider Creek is a home away from home for families, fishermen, and groups of all sizes. Enjoy hiking, float the crystal clear waters of the white, or fish for trout. Our full service fly shop will address all your equipment, food, and beverage needs. Spider Creek Resort, your home in the mountains. We get it. Your time equals money. And if you can't get to work, you can't get paid. Why would you want to stay all day at a dealership? We hear you loud and clear, Oklahoma. Now you can shop from work or home. Just visit us at thekeyonline.com and complete our easy online application. It usually takes about 15 minutes. Once you're approved, you can select your vehicle from our online inventory and we'll have it waiting for you. And don't worry about bad credit financing. We do that too. The Key. Cars. Loans. Life. A1 Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Quality does not have to cost more and we have only the best. If your dog or cat suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, hair loss, or is just plain finicky, we can help. Local pet rescues with adoptable pets are on site most Saturdays from noon to four. We are locally owned and operated and want to be your neighborhood pet food store. Give your pet the best by shopping at A1 Pet Emporium, northwest corner of May and Britain. This Sunday on the Centennial Rodeo Upgrade, Justin Joslin, Annie Hart, and Spring Street. Watch the Centennial Rodeo Upgrade Sunday nights at 8 on My KSBI TV. Dog Talk is taped before a live studio audience. To be a part of the fun, send an email to dogtalk at ksbitv.com or call 405-470-0993. So guys, if you're leaving town and you don't want to board your dogs, what do you do? Do you trust somebody you don't know to come into the house and watch it for you and take care of your animals? Oh yeah, that is an option. And I have a lady with me today who does that with Carrie Pet Home Care. And tell us about what's going on. Hi Pat, thank you. Yes, whenever you head out of town, uh, or for even just daily dog walks, potty breaks. We come to your house and take care of your pets and your home while you're away. Uh, Chris, that is absolutely fantastic. Okay, Chris Carey, how did you get into this? I got tired after over 20 years of working in the corporate world. I come from an entrepreneurial family and I just decided it it's time for me and I you know from growing up on a farm I just decided I started looking into the pet sitting industry and found that it was really a growing industry in Oklahoma City so that's how I started 2005 and it's just been it has taken off it has because taken I can off. remember when I had my radio show I had you on and that yes. was many years ago <laughs> and everybody I talked to always says if you're going to leave town 
leave it in the hands of Terry Pethome here. Thank you. I mean, that is the way to go. Makes it truly, truly easy. Okay, so let's talk about one that is a little bit far afield. And that uh, is a pet limo service. So, Cheryl Steckler, tell me about that. Pet Thank limo? You. Thank you, Pat. Yes. Uh, the pet limousine is a business that has was started in 1985 by a wonderful gentleman. And I bought that business from his widow in 2000. And what it is, I don't drive a stretch limousine. It's, uh, it began in, in an Astro van. I now drive an Odyssey. But it, it is outfitted with a gigantic cage that is about 53 inches by about 33 inches. So it's plenty big to hold even a pot-bellied pig, which <laughs> it did one time. And, uh, well, I know you, you do have a great reputation uh, for that sort of thing. And um, so where do, you, where do you take these dogs? when you pick them up to take them? Where do they go? I uh, have, most lately I've been taking to daycare is a big thing now. Mm -hmm. Daycare or to the kennel, to the veterinarian. Mm -hmm. And sometimes from the airport or to the airport. Yeah, so that if, uh, if a person leaves town and leaves them in her care, you could pick them up and take them to the vets. <laughs> or do you do that also? We do that too. Oh, <laughs> there you go, there you go. Well, you know, it's just, it's, uh, there again, one of those amenities that you just can't do without. So tell me, Cheryl, then, how do people get in touch with you? I have a website. It's petlimousine.com. It's all one word. And uh, you can reach me at 405-922-6542. Aha. Uh -huh. And so tell me then, Chris. We do have a website. It's carrypet.com spelled C-A-R-E-Y-P-E-T.com, and our phone number is 405-605-3355. I'm telling you guys, this is just another amenity that is absolutely worth doing. You know, uh, if you work, you go to the office, you have to say, oh gosh, I have an appointment to take my dog into the dentist or to the veterinarian, and uh, so uh, you go in to get your teeth cleaned with this dog, and who does it? You do it. Pet Limo will pick you up and take you there. Thanks so well. we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we have one more amenity to present to you. You guys are fantastic. Thank I you. I can't believe it. All of these things are wonderful. A1 Pet Emporium is Oklahoma's authority on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Quality does not have to cost more, and we have only the best. If your dog or cat suffers from allergies, digestive issues, skin infections, hair loss, or is just plain finicky, we can help. Local pet rescues with adoptable pets are on site most Saturdays from noon to four. We are locally owned and operated and want to be your neighborhood pet food store. Give your pet the best by shopping at A1 Pet Emporium, northwest corner of May and Britain. If you have a dog, then you know that accidents happen. You've tried pads, but they just spill off the corner onto the floor. Tired of coming home to a mess every single day? There's got to be a better way. Introducing the Bullseye Pee Pads, specifically designed so your dog only pees in the center. The problem with regular pee pads is that your dog will pee anywhere on the pad, which could be messy. But the Bullseye Pee Pads have concentrated pheromones that attract your dog right to the center of the pad only. Now your dog hits the target every time. I'm guaranteed. Bullseye. It even locks in odors and releases a pleasant scent. The revolutionary Bullseye has pheromones right in the center of the pad. Plus, the ultra-absorbent quilted material is filled with odor-eliminating microlock beads that absorb and hold the liquid. Watch. We poured the same amount of liquid onto both pads. See it run off a leading competitor's pad, but not the Bullseye pad. And even when we add more, it still stays off the floor for all-day use. The Bullseye is the best for puppy training and teaches your dog exactly where to go outside too, so your grass will never look like this again. No one likes to go out in the snow or cold pouring rain. The Bullseye keeps you both inside warm and dry. And the Bullseye is a must if you live in an apartment. Your dog will never need to wait for the elevator again. Stop using pads that leak on the floor or worse, onto your carpets. With the Bullseye, you'll never clean a mess again. Call now and get 24 Bullseye pee pads for only $12.99. If you order right now, we'll send you six more pads absolutely free. That's 30 pads. But wait, order now and you can double the offer and get 30 more. Plus, you can also get our famous Crazy Critter. This stuffing free toy equals hours of fun for the dog you love. The Bullseye Pee Pads, just $12.99. Call now. Call 1-800-509-1761, but hurry and get a special offer on a second set of Bullseye Pee Pads with your order. But you must call now. 1-800-509-1761. 
Dog Talk is sponsored by the Animal Resource Center, providing resources to the Oklahoma public on issues of animal welfare. And by A1 Pet Emporium, Oklahoma's experts on healthy nutrition for dogs and cats. Actually, our last amenity is a necessity. And that may sound confusing, but this amenity comes from being able to access the abilities, strengths, and expertise of veterinarians. And I'd like to introduce Stacy Robertson. Dr. Robertson, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And Dr. Sharon, how are you over there? Excellent. And Sharon Carey, you are a veterinarian who has a mobile unit. Yes. And also you do the same thing, Stacy. Well, what, what is the, the deal when, if I call you at 12 o'clock at night, are you going to be available? Perhaps. Most well, of the time, yes. <laughs> If I wake you up in the middle of the night, you would come out. So many of the times, and, and as I have always said, I don't know why it is, but my dogs always fall ill on the weekends. I don't understand that, but they wait until all the veterinarians are closed and the emergency clinics are way too far. So having someone available that I could call or say, uh, I'm not going to be there, and somebody who is there calls and says, your little dog is ill, I could call you and I could say, the dog is ill, can you come out? Correct. And you could do this. So tell me then, ladies, we'll start with you, Stacy. What, what do you do? What can you do in an, in an event like that? An event of an emergency? An emergency event. Um, usually I talk to the owner on the phone to determine what's going on. And it's something I feel that if I can go out there and assess and maybe get the dog stabilized, where we can get it to an emergency hospital where it would require more care, then I can do that. Or if it's something that I can go out and help correct and get set up mm -hmm. for, to stay at home. So basically then, um, what you guys, when you come out for a general checkup or something like that, you give vaccination shots and that sort of thing? Yes. And how good is that? Because Every time I put my dog in the car to go to the veterinarian, they know, somehow they know, they start <laughs> shaking, and then they get to where this veterinarian facility is, and they are so stressed, it is just unbelievable. So I'm thinking this would be so much better because you come to the house. They're comfortable in this situation. So what, what is the most extreme thing that you have done then, Sharon, for this kind of deal? <laughs> Gosh, uh, <laughs> most extreme. Well, I did go out one uh, night on emergency and get a fish hook out of a dog's throat as they were holding its mouth open for hours. <laughs> did you knock the person in the head <laughs> who had the dog who let that happen? No, no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you did perform, you got it out and yeah, gave them shots, yeah. antibiotics and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So Stacy, tell me, you go out on, on regular calls and give shots and things like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. So if a person wanted to get in touch with one of you guys, how would they do that? Well, I can call, um, I work out of Nichols Hills Vet Clinic, mm -hmm. and it's 405-842-2273. Uh-huh. And, and with you? Uh, yes, I have a website, and it's easy to remember, although it's not the name of my business, but it's PetVetOnWheels.com, and the phone number is 405-820-6647. So, uh, may I ask you, I'm, I'm thinking here, how, how long have you been doing this, Sharon? Because I can remember there again when I had my radio show, you were on that too. That's been a lot of years ago. Five, six years? Uh, seven years now. Seven years yeah. you've been doing it. Yes. So, is it easier than having a vet clinic? I would say definitely, oh, it's easier in some ways. It, it's kind of a give and take, and I find it much more rewarding because uh, you're helping people that cannot get their dogs to the veterinary hospital, especially big dogs and older when they older can't. Older people, too. Older people, too, or they have get eight out. dogs like <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm there. And then, yeah, one trip, and we can do everything at one time, and you never have to leave. See, and that, as I say, I look at it subjectively, but from the dog standpoint, you know, it is also a great amenity. 
it really is having you to come there to the house because then they don't fret as much you know and I that to me is the bottom line it is pretty scary I call my veterinarian Dr. Needles you know <laughs> they know that so oh. tell me Stacy then uh, with yours how long have you you've just come out of I just celebrated my first year out of vet school out of vet school and so uh, you're starting out and and you've got some pretty strange animal friends haven't you yep, I treated I treat eagles llamas goats Eagles, llamas, and goats, goats and, and I can horses. remember the story about you because you've been on the show before and you said it at OSU you had one llama that you could treat that nobody else could treat. This is Delilah. That was Delilah <laughs> and you and Delilah got along well. Yes. I love it. I love it. So then tell me, um, what, what is your, your if, if you had your choice then, would you open a vet clinic or would you you know, because you work out of one, so you kind of have both. I both have both ways. best of both worlds. I work in the clinic three to four days a week, and then in the evenings and on other days on weekends, I can do mobile. So, so there again, if if an emergency, guys, there are always emergency clinics open. But this sort of thing, if you have one of these girls' numbers, it would be handy, right? It would be <laughs> great. So if they go to your website, they can get that number, and there you go. Well, I appreciate it so much because you guys do do so many things for for these animals, and this mobile thing is, I think, a thing of the future. It really is. Uh, making an appointment, obviously, you do have to make an appointment for the the regular shots and things, right? But in an emergency situation, that would be just ideal. And we thank you. God bless you both. Thank you. Veterinarians are wonderful. <laughs> so, in in recapping this thing, my dear. Um, what would you say to people that were going to hire you? What can they do to help you? Well, we always ask for our clients for the most information possible. We use a web-based program that the clients have access to. They can schedule their service. They can go in after, out, while they're out of town. They can log in to this program. And the sitters also log in and put in notes after each visit. So even while the client's gone, they can still see how things are going at home. Oh, that's yes. wonderful. Yes. Yeah, and we, we forgot to mention Gracie down here. And she is, that dog has got to be part pointer. My producer gave her a little treat, and now she hasn't taken her eyes off of her. So we know that she's on, she's on target here. <laughs> so, Al, tell yes. me then, with you guys, I am fascinated. You've been in the business for how long? Fourteen years. Fourteen years you've mm -hmm. been picking up poop? You betcha. My gosh. <laughs> so you have, obviously you have guys, you both have guys who work for you. Yes. And uh, so the, the idea of someone coming to your house and doing this thing, which as I say is a great amenity, it, with them coming in, I guess you have to have total faith in them. Yeah, there's no contracts to sign. It's just trust. You know, I trust that they're going to pay me, and they trust me to be in their yard with their pets and their possessions. Exactly. And, so, have you ever had a problem with pets? Anybody get? Oh, well, I've been bitten four times. Four times. <laughs> yeah. And they, the owners didn't tell you they had a dog that would bite. Oh, it's uh, people that were there during Christmas, so I didn't know the dogs were there. And oh, kind okay. Of so me. they were kind of visiting dogs, yes, not yes. the regular yeah, dogs. Yeah, not well, the regular dogs. Well, that's understandable. Dogs. So, um, you know, I, I just think it's a, it's a fascinating business, and um, I'm going to keep, uh, keep on keeping on. Rick, I'm going to call on you next just to good. test and see how <laughs> the companies compare here. But I'm telling you, folks, these are amenities. These kind of services that all of these people produce is something that you just can't deny. It makes life a lot easier. If you have eight dogs like I do, it really makes it easy. But even with one or two, there are times that you may need these services. So be advised. Get in touch with these guys. They're here for you. And we will see you next week. So take care. Be kind to your dogs and give them a few amenities. We'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's so cute.